Checking in with that hog fire and how is the rain affecting some of the areas that firefighters are trying to get containment? Well, you can see with our band of uh, the radar that a big blast of uh, rain started to go through, but associated with that, unfortunately, is also some lightning. Now, this is what it looks like. There's no significant uh, plume of smoke coming from that region, but there's still plenty of hot spots. I'm looking at some smoke right at the surface level, so I know that there's still some burning going on there. Also tracking a number of thunderstorms for the Sierra for today. A lot of flash flood warnings out primarily north of I-80 through many of the counties there, and that's just because there's been so much rain throughout the day. Highs are warming into the low 90s to right around the upper 80s tomorrow down low. We'll see a chance of thunderstorms for the Sierra once again with highs in the upper 70s, and that will keep that fire danger on the higher side. A couple of views here from Tuolumne Meadows. This is from Bob sending it in near Yosemite, also the lake near there. The water just looks so refreshing. Send those weather force photos our way you can upload on the abc 10 app so easy to do as far as our current temperatures we're right around the upper 80s to near 90 throughout the valley 80s for the foothills and 57 degrees now for Truckee with that rain cooled air compared to 72 at south lake tahoe where we're not seeing as many showers our weather timeline with the gilmore backyard behind it you can see lows will fall to about 60 as we head towards tonight our sunrise tomorrow at 6 a.m overall weather pattern we've got that low moving in that's adding to the instability for the next couple of days and then the high pressure ridge that's on its way and so is the warming weather. Our highs for tomorrow in the 80s for the Sierra to right around the upper 70s. Lower elevations were in the 80s to right around 90. Our five-day forecast, we've got an opportunity for afternoon thunderstorms each day, so we'll expect to see the chance of those uh, thunderstorms and lightning to continue. Along the coast, highs in the 60s. As we head inland, it gets warmer. A little bit warmer than we've been for the past couple of days. We'll warm to right around the low to mid 90s throughout the northern San Joaquin Valley and most of the Sacramento region as well. So generally speaking, we're still right about average here for the next couple of days before the warm-up begins. We'll be in the mid-90s for much of the valley, but some of us, we're back near 100 as soon as the weekend.